Hi, aloha. My name is Dave Evans, and I'm sure as you've already been aware, we're coming to you live from Honolulu, Hawaii. Uh, if the calendar on my on my wall is correct, you should be enjoying a lovely change of scenery in your part of the woods. And uh, I would love to be a leaf peeper and come your way. Anyway, we've been asked to share with you our studies and talk a little bit about some of the background that went into uh, the decisions that we made and why we, we made them. So I want to talk a little bit about my study, first of all, and it's about faculty satisfaction. And I think as an important starting point, it's um, for me, it's always important to kind of contextualize why it's important. Uh, I'm a faculty member at a community college. Uh, I'm currently the chair of my department. Uh, but prior to that, in my previous life, I was a hotel manager for about 15 years. And I think throughout that time, I got very, very interested in, in the issue of motivation and satisfaction and leadership principles and things like that. And when I, when I transferred over to um, working in the higher ed realm, I found a very interesting sort of a dynamics between the different paradigms, between the different models. And um, I found some similarities, but I think I found more differences as far as the hierarchy and um, sort of the leadership styles that go on and some of those kind of things. So that really kind of fascinated me. How do we lead a, a higher education um, organization? And I, a big part of that was really trying to understand exactly who faculty are and what are the things that motivate them and what's important to them. And part of that is uh, the understanding that, that faculty are, number one, uh, extremely intelligent, um, of course, highly trained, highly credentialed, highly respected. Uh, generally, most of them have world reputations. Many of them are, are able to generate their own money. Uh, they earn tenure. They are protected by collective bargaining. So you're, you're dealing with a very particular type of professional when you're trying to uh, administer or manage or lead an, an organization. So... Um, that's kind of the background of the, the motivation of why I was uh, interested in this in this topic. So it really addresses um, taking a look at, at faculty perspectives of satisfaction, and more importantly, at a research institution. Uh, working at a community college, I think we understand the demands and the challenges that we have. But I've also, I guess, maybe kind of as an outsider looking in, always been interested and um, amazed. I think at the a number of things that are expected of faculty. Uh, to teach, uh, to do community service, and, and to do research. So I've, I've always been kind of uh, uh, amazed at the, you know, how they can kind of uh, balance those those different things. So that's really kind of the, the purpose of the study is to sit down and, and talk with folks. It is a qualitative study, and uh, I think the choice of going with something like qualitative study is, is very, very important for most individuals because it fits, I hope it fits, with your worldview. Um you know, for me, I'm much more interested in the why of things, uh, not so much the data or the, uh, the statistic necessarily, but why people way, feel the way they do. And I think just based on my background in, in uh, administration and, uh, uh, you know, kind of being involved with the people business, I, just sitting down with people is something that was very, very important to me. So that was why doing a qualitative study was something that I thought uh, would be really, really um, important. I think it just fit with my with my background, and I think it just fit with the topic. And based on my literature review, more and more of the of the folks that I was reading were encouraging more and more quantitative or quality, excuse me, um, uh, studies. My research questions then have to do with um, how satisfied are uh, professors at a at a four year institution, and then also really what are some of the factors uh, that lead to uh, contribute to or diminish uh, satisfaction for for faculty. And that all comes from a, a theoretical framework, and uh, I, I sense most of you are probably new at starting your, your studies and things like that, and I think that's probably one of the more challenging parts to get started with, is to find that theoretical frame. And uh, I know you're taking this class from Joanne Cooper. She's our advisor, and, and she was uh, very, very influential and kind of always challenging me to look for something more current or more connected to uh, the industry, uh, to our to our universities. And um, fortunately, I found something. It's, it's called Linda Hagedorn's uh, Conceptual Framework on, on uh, Faculty Satisfaction. And I chose it because it was very, very holistic. It looked at uh, faculty not only from a point of view of what they do in the workplace, but also some of their personal circumstances. It could be issues of change in their family. It could be change in family situations. Uh, it could be a divorce. Uh, could be a death in the family, as well as some of the motivational theories that relate to 
uh, you know, things like, uh, you know, intrinsic motivations, uh, things like, uh, you know, salary, things like, uh, you know, administration and those kind of things. So it was a very nice, complete model. And what was nice about having the, the theoretical frame, which really had a number of constructs and, a, and really was a nice typology, was it led towards my my research questions and it led towards my, my semi-structured uh, questions themselves. So um, I think a very important part of what you need to think about in the early stages, again, is your worldview. Uh, how do you see the world and how do you come to know what you know and, and what's important? Because that sort of shapes your study. Uh, also, when you start to find a theoretical frame that you like, um, that you feel kind of represents what you're trying to do, that also leads to the question. So the design of the study really kind of comes about um, through that. So from the um, sort of the worldview, I really looked at it as uh, a constructivist theory. And, and what that really means is how people give meaning to their worlds. And that to me was essential in a university setting because uh, I sort of hypothesized that the paradigms of higher ed, the, 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 the customs, the traditions are very entrenched in the faculty themselves. So it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a model where they sort of drive the process um, as much as or probably more so than, than the idea of what administration does. Um, also, too, there's some paradigms in higher ed that, you know, faculty are very involved in what we call shared governance. Uh, they expect to be included in the decisions. They expect to be included uh, and what goes on in curriculum and those kind of things across campus. So um, those are all kind of parts to the, to the puzzle um, that kind of went into the design of my, of my questions um, and also kind of the, the process of going into the qualitative study. So um, just kind of a real quick final thoughts. Again, think about your, 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 your worldview, your epistemological sort of setting, uh, and really look for something, a uh, topic that's valuable to you something that you're interested in because you're going to live this for the next few years of your life. And, and hopefully that sort of leads to some of the background and some of the theory that you've had in the past. So best wishes on your study.